Erin's Essentials, and today we're going to be talking about nature's broom closet. And we are going to be talking specifically about integrating doTERRA's essential oils into your everyday cleaning uh, routines. So, it's going to be taking products like these and turning them into products like these. I know you can't really see this far, far away, maybe if you zoom in. But, um, to begin with, let me just explain how the oils can help or uh, what the oils are. Because when I first heard essential oils, I thought, they're oils. Does that mean you cook with them, like um, olive oil or vegetable oil or peanut oil? No, these are different types of oils. They are oils that can be used in so many different ways, it would blow your mind. It blows my mind literally on a daily basis. I integrate these. I do integrate them with cooking. I integrate them with my minor medical emergencies. I integrate them with my beauty regimen. I integrate them with my kids. Um, I use lavender on them when at bedtime. I, I don't actually do that. They integrate lavender with them in their bedtime ritual. Um, I have my six-year-old always asking me, can you put oil on my feet, Mom? You didn't put oil on our feet yet. Um, they also ask for their vitamins, which are um, one of the products that we offer. Um, let's see. They, if they have a tummy ache, they ask for the oils for the tummy ache. So it has really changed our lives. Um, and for the better. It, it has, maybe not it changed, it has enhanced our lives. So, um, taking that one step further, now I use them in my cleaning supplies, in my cleaning products that I have made. So I have that satisfaction now that I don't go to the cleaning aisle in the grocery store anymore and buy cleaning supplies. I make my own, and you know what? They do fantastic. They're awesome. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to be uh, loosely basing today's class on a tear sheet that I got off of shareoils.com, and it's essential oils for a safer, cleaner home. So the first section is why use essential oils for cleaning. Well, essential oils kill germs safely. They're non-toxic, and they don't pollute water supply or the environment. And instead of toxic side effects, essential oils have healthy benefits. I know for one, I whistle. I started whistling, which I have a horrible whistle. Um, but I whistle and I sing, and I actually enjoy cleaning. Um, but lemon, it says, is, is naturally antibiotic and antimicrobial. And it's energizing, it's energizing and uplifting in scent. And it's true. Lemon is wonderful. It's in my wood polish, it's in my dishwasher detergent, and it is so lovely smelling. Um, the essential oils are powerfully concentrated, so a little bit goes a long way. The most I've seen in the recipe for cleaning is use 30 drops, 15 to 30 drops. Now, this is our bottle of oil. Looks kind of tiny, doesn't it? Yeah, but this actually contains 250 drops. And the whole recipe that was for 15 to 30 drops is for a gallon, yes, a gallon of vinegar. So you make a half gallon, use 15 drops. And it goes a long way. And save money. Follow the recipes and it saves money. I did some cost analysis, and I will post that on the blog, and it really does save money. I found one instance where buying the absolute cheapest brand that you could find on the shelves was a little bit cheaper, but it's the cheapest brand you could find on the shelves, <laughs> so maybe there's a reason why it was a little bit cheaper. Uh, let's see here. Melaleuca. Let's talk about Melaleuca. Shall we? Melaleuca is tea tree oil. And tea tree oil is ideal for cleaning because it's powerfully antibacterial, my, antimicrobial, antiseptic, antiviral, fungicidal, and insecticidal. It can also be used as a deodorant, which I've used it as, and it works great, a foot spray, or a hand sanitizer. And I do have it in my hand sanitizer, along with our On Guard product. Um, it is also effective for sore throat, disinfecting wounds, done that. 
Uh, cold source, been there. Pimples, mm, got the t-shirt. And earaches, mm, don't have luck with that, sorry. Or maybe I do have the luck with that because I haven't had earaches. And the little did you know section is Melaleuca was found as effective in treating fungal male infections, hello, as the antifungal drug for trimazole. Yeah, seriously. So, why should you make a change going natural with doTERRA oils versus continuing to buy them through the grocery store? Well, did you know that chemicals used in CalSol cleaning products can be harmful and even toxic? Well, I knew that, which is why I always tell my kids, no, 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 you know, let mommy clean with that. But then I start thinking, well, heck, why is mommy touching that? So, here are some little statistics for you. Over 100,000 children under the age of six are sickened by household cleaners each year. Fragrances used in cleaners cause respiratory irritation, headache, sneezing, and watery eyes. One third of the substances used by the fragrance industry are toxic. Phenols used in disinfectants and toilet bowl cleaners are toxic to the respir respiratory system and cir circulatory systems. If I could talk, it'd be even better, but I can't, so evidently you're just going to have to put up with me. Formaldehyde used in spray and wick deodorizers. Seriously, do you remember formaldehyde? I remember it. I had to reach into a bucket of formaldehyde and pull out a grasshopper when I dissected it in science class. Mm -hmm. Well, anyways, formaldehyde is a respiratory irritant and suspected carcinogen. And petroleum solvents in floor cleaners damage mucous membranes. And petroleum-based chemicals contribute to the depletion of non-renewable resources. Yeah, many cleaners are pollutants that contribute to smog reduce the quality of drinking water, and are toxic to animals. Yeah, so they're toxic to animals, but we go ahead and we clean our counters, and we clean our tables with them, and then we eat off of them. But you know what? We won't let our animals near them. Doesn't make sense, does it? So some of the key oils for killing germs and keeping our house clean are oregano, peppermint, lemon, and rosemary. And this is due to their antiviral, their antibacterial, their antiseptic, and their antifungal and anti-infectious properties. They also have other bonus features um, that are not related to their cleaning features. And this would be oregano fighting cold and flu. It's actually one of the ingredients in our flu bomb. Peppermint goes well in foods and drinks. Um, I made really yummy Peppermint hot chocolate cookies once. Yummy! Lemon, again, has an uplifting scent and detoxes the body. So it's great on grease and it cleans out your tongue. And rosemary stimulates the mental activity and, and can improve your concentration. So you have a big test coming up or your kid does at school, put a little drop of rosemary on the inside of a shirt. Improves the, the mental stimulation and the concentration. And why not diffuse your house for a cleaner home. It says rid your home of airborne germs by diffusing. Diffusing lemon can kill basically meningitis in 15 minutes, typhus in under an hour, staph A in two, and pneumonia bacteria within three. 0.2% solution, a 0.2% solution of lemon oil can in inactivate tur tuberculosis. Bleh bacteria. So even a 0.2% solution of lemon oil can inactivate a tuberculosis bacteria. Yeah, lemon's got to be my new best friend. Sorry. But on my blog, I will post a lot of these recipes, and I've already done some of them. So I'll continue to post some of them um, here and there. I won't, you know, completely inundate the blog with them, but it'll be fun. You'll enjoy them. For my demonstration, however, what I did was see my nice TV, my nice cute little pretty TV. It's an LED TV, and usually you don't mess with LED TVs or LCD TVs, plasma TVs. You just don't. What I did was I took my kids' window crayons, Crayola window crayons, and I wrote Nature's Broom Closet on it. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how awesome the all-purpose cleaner is because I love this stuff. So I'm just going to spray some on there. Put the bottle back. Just taking a, a really a paper towel and wiping the crayon off. Oops, didn't get some cleaner on that spot, sorry. Now. <laughs> Oops, I didn't want to come off. Sorry. There goes my demonstration. I need to figure out why it's not coming off on this spot. But the rest of it, look at that. No streaking. Yeah, bad demonstration for that. I don't know what's wrong with that one spot. It did come off, but it's just not really wanting to. But it doesn't streak, it didn't scratch, it didn't do anything that it's not supposed to do on your fancy dancy TVs. And the kids will be happy because they can watch their, grand their cartoons on it still. <laughs> so I won't be maimed. So that is Nature's Cleaning Closet. I was able to make my detergent my dishwasher rinsing, my fabric softener, which the fabric softener is made of vinegar. You'd think that your laundry will smell like vinegar. It won't. Trust me. Um, the vinegar is a natural fabric softener, so that's already cool in itself. When it goes through the drying cycle, I don't know what happens, but the vinegar smell, it goes away. Dishwasher detergent, which smells yummy. Uh, the wood polish, which is also a leather polish. And I made a dryer ball, which I'll post on the blog because it's not on the back of the, the sheet. So that is nature's medicine or nature's cleaning closet. Ah, nature's broom closet. <laughs> so have a happy Saturday, everybody. Bye-bye.